you've been running your WordPress site for some time, you're probably pretty good at installing plugins, activating, deactivating, and deleting them if you have access to the WordPress admin. But sometimes an update can go wrong or some other fatal error on your site can make it so that you don't have access to the admin of the WordPress site. What do you do then? If you know which problem plugin you need to deactivate, you can watch this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to deactivate a plugin through FTP, through logging into your hosting server and renaming the plugin folder. Now this might sound like a scary tutorial, but it's actually pretty straightforward. All of the plugins in your WordPress site, the code for them is located in a single folder in your hosting, in your local site, wherever it is. So as long as you can get access to that through FTP, you're gonna be able to deactivate the problem plugin and find out what's wrong with it before reactivating it. So the goal of this is to just get you back into your WordPress site admin. So here I am in a demo site. This site's working fine. It is a network site, but I'm able to get into the admin, navigate through things. I can see the plugins on my site here pretty easily. And there's no issues on the site, but I'm gonna simulate what it would look like if there was a fatal error on the site and then show us how we can find where that's located. So. I'm connected to my site here via FTP or SFTP. This is something called FileZilla. I'm just gonna navigate through to where these files are located and I'm gonna trigger something to go wrong. You won't have to do this if this is actually an issue in your site, but we're just doing it so that we can see for an example of what's happening here. So let's edit this file. And uh, we're just gonna add, this is broken here. That would never happen through an update, but just so we can simulate what's going on here. We updated the file, cool. All right, so if we go back to the front end of our site, we're gonna get a critical error. We're not gonna know what the problem is. If you see a screen like this and you're not sure what's going on, where is this error at, you need a little bit more information. So you might get an email from your WordPress site with more information, or you can do something quick to enable debugging and that'll show you where the issue is. So let me enable debugging pretty quick on this site and it'll give us that information that we need. So. To enable debugging, that's in your uh, WP config files. Let me edit that quick. Uh, and then that's here under WP debug. We actually have some code set up. So if I add a parameter to this debug equals true, I should be able to see the issue. I'm gonna quickly show you, this isn't a tutorial about debugging WordPress. We have another tutorial about that. I'll link to in the, in the description of this video. But you see here the very first line, parse error in the Memberlite Elements plugins. That's the plugin we wanna target and deactivate so that we can regain access to the site. So now we're gonna go back into our FileZilla, which is our FTP or SFTP, into the, the hosting area of our site. And when we locate the folder for the plugin we wanna deactivate, we can just go and say rename. And sometimes I just go like off. And by renaming the folder like that, if we go back to our site and refresh, we'll see that our site has come back. Now it looks a little different because that plugin has deactivated itself. You'll see here, Memberlite like Elements is no longer active. But that's just that quick hack. If you need to regain access to your WordPress site, you know which plugin is the problem. You can get into that with that FTP or SFTP, rename the folder of the plugin, like we did in our example to off-memberlite-elements, and I regained access to my WordPress admin. It's not a permanent fix. You're still gonna have to debug what happened here. What's the issue? Can we figure it out? But you will regain access to your site and your site will come back online. I'm Kim Coleman. I hope you liked this tutorial of how to rename a folder to deactivate a plugin in WordPress. I'm putting some links in the description of this video for other troubleshooting guides and videos we have. Thanks so much.